excuse my geekness in this, excuse my uh, Star Wars shirt, because I'm a big bad geek. Hi guys, it's Amira, and it is day 23 of Vlogtober, and today I decided that since it's Tuesday, and I will probably be doing a lot of upcoming vlogs about my favorite movies because I'm a movie addict. I don't know if you saw my um, vlog mom video about when I had to choose my three favorite movies. That was complete torture because I have a crap ton of movies that I love and I wanted to talk about. So I decided that from now on I'm going to do Movie Tuesdays. And on Movie Tuesdays we'll talk about or I will share some of my favorite mainstream movies, obscure movies that maybe you haven't heard of, and maybe movies that fit the season that we're in. Since Halloween is next week, I figured this would be the perfect time to talk about my favorite, my top seven. Seven, not ten. Everybody does ten because it's easy. I'm going to do seven. My top seven movies to watch during Halloween. I also have my black cat behind me. He's he's over here. He's chilling. And I also have on my Halloween wig. This is the wig that I will be wearing for Halloween as part of my Halloween costume. Let's talk about the list. Now, this is in no it's in no particular order, but my number one, I do have a number one, but all the rest of them are like, you know, they're in the mix. I can't I can't list them. One of my favorite movies to watch during Halloween every year is Beetlejuice. It's a classic. Winona Ryder, Michael Keaton, Gina Davis, Alec Baldwin. Hello? Hello? Fantastic. Twilight Zone, the movie. Hello? How awesome is that? Now, it's, I don't know if I could count that as a scary movie. It doesn't really scare me as much. Actually, that's a lie. The part um, where it's the man on the plane, that crap scares the crap out of me. But other than that, it's not really that scary. It's not as scary as like Creepshow. Like Creepshow freaks me out. So like, Creepshow's not on my list because it freaks me out too much. I, 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 can't even, I can't even deal with that. But I just love it. I love all the different stories in Twilight Zone the movie. I love how some of them are classic stories that they redid for the movie. And it just gets me in the spirit of like mischief and weird things happening. Bram Stoker's Dracula. I know there's the classic Dracula, which, I, you know, all the black and white scary movies, everybody should see those. Nosferatu, um, any Vincent Price movies, you should definitely look at those. But Bram Stoker's Dracula always freaks me out. You know why? Because Gary Oldman's in it. He's fantastic. He's like the best villain ever. He always plays a fantastic villain. Bram Stoker's Dracula is something I have to watch every year. We own a copy of it. I have to watch it or it's not Halloween to me. Okay, next one is The Exorcist. Classic. My husband is deathly afraid of The Exorcist. So that's one I watch by myself, but it doesn't freak me out. Like it freaks, it freaks him out. Like crazy next is pet cemetery um i don't know why i do this to myself watching that movie hence you know oh he's over here oh that was my hair hence you know we have a pet and i've always had cats and everyone i know has always had dogs so i don't know why i gravitate towards this movie but it's a pretty awesome movie and it's stephen king so it's my it's I don't want to say it's my favorite Stephen King movie, but I think out of the really scary ones, this one really is in the in the top echelon of scary movies. My next one is more of a family movie, and we tend to watch it now every year, and it is Hocus Pocus. I love Hocus Pocus so much. My husband really loves Hocus Pocus. This is one of the things that we agreed on when we were recording and we would talk about movies and shows that we really liked. Hocus Pocus was up there. For me, it's really because, I hate to say this, Sarah Jessica Parker is not that great in movies. She really isn't. Like, I love her in Sex and the City. She's so fantastic and in the Sex and the City movies. But I just, I've never really been a fan of her hers in movies. Hocus Pocus though, 
She she takes the cake on that one. My number one movie to watch for Halloween of all time is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Hello, gotta go Disney. This is my number one. I mean, my it actually has changed now that I have kids. Even though I, you know, I used to watch them when I was little, but now that I have kids, it's a movie that we can all watch and. I don't have to worry about them being so scared. Like, it's a little scary to kind of get them in the mood, but I don't have to worry about them having nightmares or anything from it. And the best part about it is that I can watch it for Halloween, and then I can watch it again for Christmas. What's this? What's this? There's magic in the air. What's this? Okay, that's enough. I'm not going to sing it anymore. Sorry. So I'd love to know which ones are your top picks to watch for Halloween. Anything really scary and spooky and gory and yucky? I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.